when they come back. Speaking during the Remembrance Day at the Swapo Party School, fellow struggle icon Jerry Kanjo recounted his days with Ausiku, saying his death has left a deep void in the hearts of many of his comrades. Ekanjo vividly recalled how Siku's perennial run in with colonial law enforcement agents due to his defiance against apartheid rule, particularly in the mid 80s and late 90s, until the implementation of the United Nations Resolution 435. I also remember when we went and we were detained at Bagani. On the way to Katsura, we were detained at Bagani. We were having a meeting in 1980 in Sardinia. And then we spent a day or two there. And on the day of our rally, we were also detaining Katsuma Murilo. And but we had a big rally there, including with Comrade Mark House. He was a beacon of the struggle. And as Comrade Mark, let us write our history, all of us. Ekanjo says how Siku consistently sacrificed his life by aiding Sopo Party activists in his two-bedroom house in Vinduk, which also served as his refuge during his house arrest before the dawn of independence. Another comrade in arms, Jeremiah Ndambinga, who served under the tutelage of Ausiku to coordinate strategies and tactics in pursuit of independence, characterized the late Ausiku as hardworking, a visionary, and committed cater of the struggle. My personal and political encounters with this late hero, Colonel Marco Osiku, to amaze immeasurable and informative and enriching circles. When I was elected as his deputy late 70s, I realized for the first time when we met that I was jeopardizing a hard working a visionary, a committed, and honest, and an honest again. More often than not, Ure Marco and I would meet almost on a daily basis. One of the graduates of the Swapo Party School, Connie Engelbrecht, pledged respect and gratitude to Hausiku, saying he opened doors for them to pursue their studies are made with little educational exposure. For some of us coming out from year grade, standard two, standard one, for some who has not even reached high school, to be students of political science. Not only students of political science, but to graduate for the first time in our lives 